Gowden, we want to begin, of course, with Amanda Knox, which we've been following so closely. She is home at last in tears last night in front of the crowd that was waiting for her as she arrived in Seattle from Italy. And now officially acquitted of the murder of her roommate, Knox said a few words after she arrived. An early show contributor, Hattie Kaufman, is in Seattle this morning with more for us. Hattie, good morning. Good morning, you two. What a journey. Amanda Knox left this West Seattle neighborhood an anonymous college kid, but she returns as someone internationally recognizable. Yes, she's free, but her freedom has come with a price. I'm, I'm really overwhelmed right now. In her first public words since being released from an Italian prison, Amanda Knox thanked her supporters moments after landing on American soil for the first time in four years. I was looking down from the airplane and it seemed like everything wasn't real. Um, what's important for me to say is just thank you to everyone who's believed in me, who's defended me, who's supported my family. Because of the letters and the calls and the just amazing support that, that we've received from people all over the world, we've been able to endure and make sure Amanda had the support she needed. But getting back to normal may not be easy. The international media frenzy surrounding the trial continued on the journey home, from her flight out of Rome to her landing in Seattle. And there's no sign the interest in Amanda or her story will let up soon. I think she'll probably have to change her name. And I think it's going to be hard for her. Her first challenge will be to repay the more than $1 million in legal debts her family piled up in the past two years. Her parents each took out second mortgages and drained retirement accounts to pay for her lawyers. Elizabeth Huff, Knox's grandmother, took out a $250,000 loan to help pay bills, a burden she welcomed. We are happy. We're elated. We're, I can't tell you how happy we are. But for Amanda, all of that can wait. For now, she has just one priority. My family is the most important thing to me right now, and I just want to go and be with them. So thank you for being there for me. Sources close to Knox tell CBS News she began writing her memoir while in prison. Now that's going to be worth millions to publishers who hope to profit on this sensational legal case. Erica? Hattie Kaufman in Seattle this morning.